What up, my peeps? Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Oh, boy. Welcome to another uh, series of Tuck Notes Beginner Stock Talk. Um, thank you uh, for those of you who newly subscribed and all of you who have been continually viewing my videos. Um, it means a lot to me. And uh, if you like these videos, Tell other people about Tuck Notes. I know that some people have been because there's been a little bit of an increase in subscri subscribers. Um, but, uh, and if you like the videos, push the like button. So, what do I have to talk to you about tonight? Well, we're going to talk about some biotech uh, farms. First, I'm trying to get my ducks in the order. And then we're going to talk about some 5G penny stocks that we have covered in the past. But uh, there's been questions about them recently in my um, Discord. And so my guru, won, he, he did another like recover of these certain specific stocks. So get a piece of paper out. Have a pencil, get ready, set, go, D just kidding. All right, yeah. but for real, here we go. First stock we're gonna talk about is the big hot one that was today, and that is ticker, single, ticker symbol B-I-N-G-O. Uh, you guys remember that stock? Uh, what was it? What happened? I mean, looking at what it was. Uh, I think it was around like six, close to like $6, I think this morning. And it went all the way up to almost $10. Like I, like I said, it was going to almost reach $10 or could reach $10. So it got to $9.95. And then right in after hours, news was released that there was an offering for bingo and there was an immediate sell-off and the stock dropped uh, all the way down. Well, it didn't do that bad. It ended up closing at $9.14. And, uh, you know, still go haven't gone up a few dollars. So that's huge. Um, so what now is the next question I have written down here on my notes. You might see a drop more, even to $8. Uh, he said $7, but I think he, that was a mistake and it's eight, but who knows? Like I could be wrong, but I'm just throwing it out there. Um, and uh, it would be, you know, if you're into it for long haul, like I th personally, I think this has a lot of potential. Um, this specific, this specific stock, based off the way it's rallying already and its science that it's doing, um, this year I believe also is a huge, huge history it's a historical moment in, in, in the technology and the pharmaceutical industry world and innovation. Things will, things will happen and we'll see that we have never imagined before. So, um, if you were wondering why Bingo dropped and you have the stock still, that's why it dropped. There was an offering, okay? That happens all the time. If it's a good stock, it'll bounce right back up. That's how you know if it's a good stock. Uh, next talk we're going to talk about is... Uh, Ticker symbol NDRA. And NDRA, I should have wrote down the, the name of the title, but it's $2. Well, at the time of the filling, it was a dollar and 74 cents. I should get comfortable. Right now it's two dollars and eight cents. And it's basically what it is, remember like, we talked about Longview and it had that 
device. It was like a scanner that could scan your body. And Bill Gates was getting heavily involved, invested into it. And remember that? Okay. If you don't look up Longview and you can read the story about it, it's, it's short, but that's the story. Uh, this company is making, it's a biotech company or biomedical company. And it's making an ultrasound device that specializes in a disease called NAS, which is not, I don't want to bring it up right now, but it has to do with people who drink non-alcoholic beers or very close to minimal, minimal alcohol. Like all those popular drinks out right now that have very low amounts of, uh, uh, carbs or alcohol, um, those. And what this machine does is it measures, let me, let me find the right part where it says it. It basically, if I don't have it written down, I'll tell you off of my memory. It basically, uh, what it does is it, It measures the, um, I hate stopping in the middle of this, but I gotta tell you this, India art, A. It measures, man, I forgot what it does. Oh, here it is. The accumulation of liver fat in people that have little or no alcoholic kombuchas or other anaka non-alcoholic drinks, it, liver fat. And then it tells you that, and then, you know, you can figure out whether you need to get help or you're doing fine. And I can see that drinking uh, community and this being connected together and making money. Just, that's a, just something that popped in my head right now. Um, ARK Invest could get involved in this. You never know, uh, but someone did say that. Um, so what to do? What should I do? Wait for it to drop before you get into it. That's the best advice. This, this, um, cure, I mean, this disease, NAS, there's no cure for it right now. And so, um, unfortunately, uh, man, I wish there was, but, you know, with technology now, it, you could see cures happening this year that you never think of before. The lowest price they can go is $3. So if you can get on it, what is it now? Yeah, it's $2. If you get on it now, you'll save it. You'll, you'll maybe make a hundred bucks. If you buy a hundred shares or you can make some money off of it, quick cash and, um, it has a lot of, you know, the highest it can go is $6. Um, the lowest I just said, um, and it's average buy price is $5 and 17 cents. So that's the scoop of that. We're gonna move on to the next topic, our next uh, stock, and that is ticker symbol SPPI Spectrum Farm. And that was filmed at $3.98. It's now $4.17. Uh, this company, this right now is a good solid risk reward because of its buy price is $5. And so it's not even at $5 right now. It's at what? $4 or $4 and a little, well, I don't know, tomorrow could be at five. Who knows what the rate is gonna be. Or maybe it'll be a little at four, five. But um, what happened in the past, it was doing well. And in, and in phase two, it had some problems. So the stock went from $5.24 to $3.50 to $3.98 
to 417. So it hasn't even got back to what it's supposed to be at to go and grow. So what I would do, and the future price targets, in the near future, the lowest is $5, which is we just said. The average is 10 and the max or the high is 15. So there's a lot of room to grow with this stock. I am um, not an advisor, but I would just really keep your eye on this one. Now we're done with that. Oh, I forgot to tell you some of the catalysts involved with this. So the other catalyst is, um, well, I told you that it looks like it could be coming back really soon and it, uh, it did and, it, and it's doing that. And the other one is BlackRock which is a stock I found when I first started Robinhood and I was just like, wow, what is this stock? How is it so much money that it cost? But it just keeps growing like a mountain and just doesn't stop growing. And, um, you know, I, I kind of kept that on the hush hush for a while. I didn't want to tell anybody because I thought it was super cool. And then now I heard about it and they just invested, they're invested, they own 10% of this uh, stock. And so, uh, having known that I know BlackRock, and it's been around since 1987, why does Tucker know that? Because he Googled it. Uh, he was infatuated with BlackRock for a moment. And so that's a solid company to have in there. And so you're good with that. So what is that? What do I say? Yeah. Next, penny stocks. 5G penny stocks uh, that many people had questions about in my... Um, what is it called? Discord. And so the net, there's a stock called A, ticker symbol ASX, and it's $6.67. Uh, $6 and I didn't check it out and see what it's filmed at right now. But when Dave made this video to his Patreons, he was talking about it at $5. So it's gone up, you know, $2.67 in the last six months. There's a little catch if you don't like to wait. But you know what? Who waits the most and who's the richest, one of the richest people? Warren Buffett. That guy waits and waits and waits and waits and waits. So take a, it, it's taking a lot of pressure right now from the stock because it's heading forward of its 5G technology. Um, there's a lot of pressure to buy. And so, um, I don't know. It's just, a, you, you don't expect to see that stock, you know, do a bingo thing. It's gonna just slowly go. The next one is ticker symbol C-A-S-A, -A, CASA. When I talked about this and made a film about it, it was November 10th and it was $4.35. The stock now is $8.31. It has gone up 100%. And what's going on is there's a huge supply and demand. And so, um, why did I say that? It, because between November 10th and today, you can see the graph and I'm explaining why the graph is moving the way it's moving because there was a high, huge supply and demand, okay? The next and last stock we're going to talk about is ticker symbol RESN. And uh, this is called Reson Resonant. I can't pronounce it. But it used to be a penny stock when it was below $5. I guess anything below $5 counts as a penny stock, maybe. Uh, and wow, it, it's up 18% now. It's at $6.28 at the time it's filmed. And now it's at $6.50. The average high price is $6. So be careful. It's like hitting, so although the, they could update some of their expectations and that could raise the stock, we don't know, but they're saying It, don't get into it now because it's at its high. Wait for it to pull back and it could go as low as 
Its average could be $4.85 and the high is $6, like we said. Um, now, what's up tomorrow? We have the presidential uh, inauguration and that signing of those petitions, or not petitions, but where those, I forgot what it was, but they're very important. And they're signing of those, those papers that will change the stock in certain sectors for either the plus or the minus for sure. And I know one stock I'm hoping across my fingers that it will change for the plus. And that's the energy sector. I don't know why I gave you the answer, but you might have known that, but or maybe you didn't know that. So tomorrow, expect a lot of swing trading, day trading events that could, you know, definitely end in, uh, you know, financial sectors either going up or down. So be careful, my friends. Have a good night. And uh, if you like these videos, it's Tuck Notes. And I'm on Instagram at TuckerMLO. And you can check out my blog at uh, hashtag Tuck's blog. All right, have a good night. Bye.